Hi, this is Hans. I just wanted to show a few things that I captured in December 2016 here in Silmar, California. Before I show this first clip, I wanted you to see this short video. Now, this is a foil balloon that's on the verge of not flying because of the lack of helium. These Mylar balloons can barely hold themselves up. They cannot lift the weight of a dime. Now, just to let you know that 100% of the balloons filled with helium sold in retail stores come with a tether. The tether comes with the price of the balloon. Who would purchase a helium-filled balloon without a tether? The tether would have to be either cut off or pulled off. I once tied a helium-filled balloon to my car to see how fast I would have to travel for the balloon to tear off. It tore off at 50 miles an hour. Once we put out a call, 40% of what we see do not have tethers. This is unusual to me. Why does this happen? If you've ever tried to pull off a tether from a balloon, it's very difficult. The other unusual thing that I thought was strange with this object was that it was deflated. Do flat balloons fly? Of course not. I call these objects flats. Now, I'm not saying that this is a UFO, I'm just saying that this may be an indication of imitation. This certainly could be a mimic because flat things don't fly. Here's another video. If you tie a deflated balloon to a newly filled foil balloon, it won't fly. So here's another one that I caught recently. I call these sinker swimmers. I get these a lot. This is when a full balloon holds up and carries around a deflated balloon. But with these, you really have to take a look at the dangler, the sinker, because sometimes they don't look normal. The sinker may be a hitchhiker. Here's a classic example. Bottom line, you gotta take a close look. Don't skip over the subtle details. Here's one that I captured with my V520. I recommend having a handheld video camera in order to capture the quick stuff. With this camera, as soon as you open the monitor on the side, it's ready to go. Here's one that I captured that was really far away. I guess I started to zoom in on it and I captured a shiny orb being chased by a crow. So the one that caught my eye blown up looks like this. This one has been slowed to 40% speed, but look at the right hand side of the screen. For some reason, birds go after these things. And it looks like to me that whatever it is attaches itself to the wing of another bird. I know it sounds crazy, but look at the video. Look at the facts. I'm not sure if these things are tasty, but it seems like other birds go after the ones that actually capture these things. I find this whole sequence very strange. A bird with only one white wing? That's absurd. It's only an insult to your intelligence if you don't pay attention. Here's a clip from Miguel Hernandez. He actually captured a crow snatching up one of these objects and a fight ensues. This begs the question, there's so much trash on the ground. Why are they risking life and limb for a piece of trash? Although I did not capture it on videotape, I saw almost the exact same thing with an object that was captured by a sparrow. This next one came in very close and very fast. I would say it was literally three to 400 feet off the ground. Now just to let you know, I'm surrounded by mountains which are 300 to 500 feet tall. This one came from that direction and headed south toward the city. Now when I call for these things, I always ask if they would come close and teach me something so that I may teach others. As you can see, using background clouds as a reference point, this thing was flying smoking fast. And notice as it tumbles, it gives flashes of indications that it's a star balloon. I think it would be easy to blow something like this off, but if you continue looking at it, you'll see it as it rotates, it's anything but a star balloon. This is definitely another strange one. Notice that it's flat in that it's lacking helium. So I know that people are thinking that I captured another one with just enough helium in it for aerial buoyancy. Try to duplicate this. I must be getting lottery lucky. Notice that as it rotates, it gives off the impression that it's a star right down to the tether tag at the bottom. So intuitively, we prejudge this object as a star balloon. Again, for the skeptics and the cynics, don't dismiss this. Duplicate it and see for yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com and come with us as we do field research together. We'll see you next time.